Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back as always to week six of the Manchester Half Vlog. Uh, this week we've got three runs in. We are going for a uh, easy 5k today, uh, which will be race uh, run one of the uh, of the vlog. Um, we've then got a pyramid session on Thursday, which we'll have a look and see. We may do it as a pyramid session. We may just run it as a as a slightly easier session, or or even another another easy run. Uh, there's a few niggles in at the minute. Uh, I'm suffering with a, a, a trap nerve in my right elbow, um, and I don't really want to do uh, too much intensity now to run the risk of getting injured and not being able to run in Manchester. So uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna back off a little bit uh, between now and race day, and just. Um, make sure that we're in as strong a position as we can be going into race day. So um, so that's, that's run two. And then run three this week, we've got um, on the schedule, it is a uh, six mile steady at 10 minute miles. Uh, I've spoken to Sam um, after last week's 11 mile run that got cut short to eight. Uh, and Sam's adjusted it a little bit and just got me down as a 10 minute chatty, uh, sorry, a 10 mile chatty run now. So we're probably targeting 11 and a half, 12 minute miles just to go and get 10 miles in the legs ahead of um, race day. So, uh, so that'll be uh, this weekend's run. Um, we're also gonna try and get down if we can um, to London for Sunday's London Marathon. Uh, my cousin's running it. Uh, Robbie's running it. Who who runs for the same running club as or as I do? Um, Sam Bass. It's also written Robbie's pro training program. So um, so we're going to see if we can we can make it work to drive down to London, cut in and around London a little bit around the uh, around the route and pick up some of that. And if we do, we'll bring you a, a London Marathon uh, vlog as well. So uh, so yeah, for now we'll. Um, We'll pick up in uh, different bits of this run. See you soon. Bye -bye. All right, guys, we are just coming to the end of 5K. We uh, paced it probably 11 and a half, 12. Uh, just a easy, comfortable chat along the way with Jake. Um, Made a mistake coming out in a rain jacket. Wasn't quite as cold as I thought it was, but um, everything that I thought was feeling dodgy felt a bit better. So we'll pick back up in a couple of days time for run two of the week. As always, stay safe and I'll catch you soon. Hey guys, how you doing? Second run of the week down at uh, the track here at Shovel Leisure Centre. Today is a pyramid interval session. So we've got a one mile warm up, one mile warm down either side. And then the session is one minute off, one minute on, one minute on, one minute off, two minutes on, two minute, uh, one minute off, three minutes on, four minutes on, three minutes on, two minutes on, one minute on. So um, legs are still feeling a little bit stiff dodgy from the weekend ran the other day an easy 5k and it was okay we're a week out from manchester now i think we've got all of the niggles are just starting to come to play now so uh see how the session goes we're not gonna back completely out of session we'll see how the first few minutes go in session style and then we'll go from there so try and pick up in and out of as we have done before let you know how we're feeling right so we have just done on my warm-up now uh, steady 11 19 so we're going to build into session before we get into the session we're just going to do a few activation exercises, loosen the legs up a little bit further, some strides, some lunges, a couple of squats and bits and bobs, and then we'll get into the session. 
So if we pick up on the other side of the session, it looks like it's going to absolutely blister it down as well. So let's hope we can get in and out before the rain. All right, guys, we've got the one minute left of pyramids, and then a minute recovery after this minute, and then we've got a mile walk down. Uh, target was keep all of the pyramids under uh, 9.45s. We've just about achieved that with the four minute one being the most brutal. Uh, I think we about 9.43 overall. So we get going again now, pick up on the cool down run, see in a minute. So pyramid's done. We're now onto a mile warm down. Uh, that's the hardest pyramid I've done so far, guys, no doubt about it. It's uh, target, as I think I said, is to try and keep under 945 on each pyramid, on each point, a spike, uh, which I've just about managed to do. The four minute was the hardest, but then you've got to come back down the other side. So you then come straight off the four minute into a three. Uh, and then typically, get down to the last one thinking there's nothing in the tank anymore and you're going to run a 904 905 so your body plays tricks on you your mind tells you you've got nothing left to give before your body's prepared to pack up I reckon you must have another 30% in the tank at that point but we're now going to Four laps, steady mile, about 11 and a half, uh, and then wrap up and head home. So, uh, run three is 10 miles, real slow, chatty pace, just miles in the legs. And then we've got a couple of runs next week, and then we're into race. So, um, I'm also going down on Sunday to watch the London Marathon. So I'm going to go down with Sam, one of the other lads from the running club. Robbie's running, my cousin's running. So we're going to do a video from down there. So if you've not already seen it, keep your eyes peeled for that. And we'll pick you up on Saturday. See you guys. Right guys, so um, as you can probably tell, the fact that we are not jumping straight into a run on Sunday morning, uh, sorry, Saturday morning, means I didn't manage to get the 10 mile run in. Uh, we got a lot going on on Saturday with um, family stuff going on, my, my nephew's uh, fighting MMA championship opportunity on Saturday night and we just ran out of time there was uh, there was no time to get it done in the morning with stuff that was going on and and uh it was too big a risk to try and go and get 10 miles in and miss uh getting over to uh to alpha turning time for uh for seeing the fight on saturday night so um a little bit disappointing no no doubt about it, it wouldn't have been nice to get 10 miles in the legs um that said the confidence is there, um, partly because I've completed Ashbourne, which was a uh, half marathon, but, but a much harder half marathon what, than what I anticipate this to be, um, given the, the elevation that was uh, was there. Um, and the other, the other aspect as to why I'm not overly disappointed is I'm currently probably the fittest I've been since I stopped playing football about 12, 13 years ago. Maybe even fitter than when I did stop playing, uh, if truth be told. Um, the training program that I've followed has um, has been brilliant. Sam, you know, has done me a great job writing the program, and I'm um, I'm feeling really confident going into Manchester. Uh, we've got three race goals um, effectively. There's sub two ten, which I'd love to achieve. That's my that's my A target. Uh, that's what the training program was written for was to try and go sub two ten. Um, I'm not a million percent certain that I'm in sub 210 form, that, that I'm at that point just yet. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Um, B goal is sub 215 and then C goal is sub 220, all of which will be a PB. 
Uh, my previous marathon was 2.26.37, I think it was. Uh, I say I think it was, I know it was. Uh, it's, it's engraved in my mind. Um, as, as everybody will know, PBs normally are. Uh, but uh, but yeah, so I'm I'm confident that I'll go out and beat my PB. Um, would love to achieve that to that sub two ten, or or even even if I just miss that by by a minute or so, then I, I'll be absolutely overjoyed. But um, but yeah, that was what the training program was written and geared towards targeting. Um, I've ran some runs over four, five, six, eight miles, and um, I'm not. 100% convinced that that I can run a, a 9.54 um, consistently over 13 miles. Um, I'm pretty confident I can do a 10.18 or a 10.17 consistently over 13 miles. Uh, that said, uh, for those of you that have, that have been involved in races before, you'll know that adrenaline takes over. Uh, there's the chance that you'll get caught up with the crowd and dragged away. So we're, we're going to really try and focus on not getting carried away in the first three or four miles, sitting back to the plan and then uh, then kicking on from there. But, uh, but yeah, so um, we did get down to the London Marathon and I'll drop a little bit of a clip in to follow this of uh, London Marathon and then we'll drop a London Marathon vlog in the next 24, 48 hours. So... As always, guys, I uh, really appreciate your support. Really appreciate you uh, taking the time to, to watch these videos. Um, please like and subscribe. It helps me when you like and subscribe or drop comments into the comments box. Uh, it helps the videos I produce feature higher on um, recommendations and therefore it spreads the word further. Um, as I... As I sort of said a couple of times before or a number of times before the reason we set this up was to uh, target and try and help people that are uh, either lacking confidence uh, lacking fitness lacking ability to to get out get fit um, improve their mental physical personal relationship work uh, well-being and uh, I think we we are getting to that. We are starting to see some of the results of that coming through with uh, certain messages I've had, certain people that have uh, that have jumped on, jumped on board. But um, but yeah, so please continue to, uh, to to get on board with what we're doing. Continue to like and subscribe. Continue to share uh, the videos, and I will see you uh, in race week next week. Cheers, guys. Man and uh, 